Hi my Heart and Soul family, this is Crystal and today I'm going to teach you guys how I make my finger looking delicious soup. Now I know you guys know I'm Nigerian and I love Achi soup and um, from Red Lobster, that's my favorite soup. And then from Red Lobster I like chicken noki soup and that's just the most delicious soup. But this one is homemade, um, I created on my own, this is in, it's a African, it's a Nigerian, well, it's pepper soup, but it's not in a Nigerian way. This is something I created on my own, and it's just so delicious. Like, winter is coming, it's getting cold, and this is something that'll just warm you up. And if I'm not there giving you a hug, then you need to try this soup, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys the easy steps. So keep watching. For this delicious soup, you're going to need to chop up potatoes, and what I did, I just chopped it up. It looks big on camera, but it's actually smaller than this. Basically, I just added water to boil it up, and I just um, added salt, and that's all I added. As you can see, it's still steaming but um, I just let it cool a little bit because I don't want it too soft. And I just boiled this for about 15 minutes. And I'll show you the next step. The seasons that I ended up using is, you guys already know my favorite, the perfect seasoning, Goya this is hands down the best it brings so much flavor and then i'm using the goya all-purpose seasoning and this is the one which is the next one in the red and then i use garlic powder it has so much taste on food and miss dash I don't know why I keep calling it Miss Dash. It used to be Mrs. Dash, but now it's just Dash chicken flavor, the best. And then pepper soup seasoning. I got this from, which is the last one. I got this from an African, uh, well, it's actually a Caribbean market. And so this is the star of the dish. And if you don't like a pepper in your soup, you could just take that out. But this is um, basically the main ingredient in there. So what I did with all this seasoning was I added, um, I'm going to add corn to it because I want a lot of flavor. And this is mainly what makes it so delicious. Corn. And this is um, um, celery and carrots sliced up carrots which you could get at your local grocery store i got this all from walmart and so i just put this delicious marinated um shrimp chicken and fish and you want to let this marinate for about an hour and i'm just gonna put that in the oven for this marinated seasoning, um, it's basically the seasoning that I told you guys that I used previously, which is the the Goya, the perfect seasoning, the chicken seasoning, the um, garlic powder, Mrs. Dash, and then the last thing I'm going to use is the pepper soup, but that's going to be on top of the potatoes. Um, once the food is done, that's going to be on top of it just to make it all come together but these are the season that i used um except for the, the pepper but um the four that's what i used for this to marinate this i ended up using two trays before i put the seasoning in it i used uh i used oil just to drizzle um on the pan by itself and just so that it's not dry so I put um, a little bit of oil olive oil I would recommend highly because it just has more taste so I just put um, olive oil around the trays the two trays and then I just put the shrimp the fish the chicken and I use chicken breast so I just chopped all of 
uh, the chicken breast off. I used uh, two trays of chicken breast um, and I just chopped it off, chopped it up. And um, so this is what it's looking like, two trays. You want to put it in the oven for about 350 and you want to put it for 30 minutes. I'm going to be using chicken cubes and salt. Um, this chicken cube in particular I got from the African market. But if you have um, chicken cubes from maybe Walmart or whatever, you could get it too. So these are the ones that I'm going to use. It has so much flavor as well as salt. Um, I'd say a spoon of salt. This is the seasoning that I use. So this brown right here that's the pepper mix uh the pepper soup mix and then over here is the chicken cube so that chicken cube that i showed you guys earlier that actually comes in four so i decided not to add salt because you know i just didn't want it to be too um salty so i just put the um pepper soup mix and i'm just gonna mix it together mix it all together even though some of the potatoes are a little smushed um that's good because you don't want it to be just too like too chunky with potatoes so the smaller it is that's good i know it looks a big on camera but it's actually smaller in person so i'm just gonna mix this up and then i'm gonna add my celery carrots and everything else I'm actually going to um, add more pepper soup mix because over here is just a little watery. So I'm just going to add more. I'm literally just eyeballing because you don't want it to be too watery. You want it to have it. I know it looks a bit much, but we're just going to mix, mix together. And I'll show you what it looks like when I add the veggies and... The chicken, shrimp, and fish. Now I added my carrots, celery, corn, and then look at how it looks with the pepper soup mix. And I'm just going to mix it all up together. I'm going to add a little bit of water just to make it... Um, a little bit more watery and not so like um not looking like this so you just want to add a little bit more water so i added more water and pepper soup mixed um just to give it a little make it a little bit watery um and i added salt the reason why i added salt is because um the water is basically draining out the salt so I just added salt and I'm just gonna mix, mix everything together. Now you don't want this to, um, you don't want the um, carrots and the corn and everything to be too soft. You want it to just have a little crunch to it. So once, and then I added um, oil. I would highly recommend using olive oil um, about half of this spoon olive oil just to mix it up so it's not too like so it's just a bit creamy if you know what I mean just a bit creamy not too like rough looking And you just want to leave, leave this covered up for five minutes. Okay, let me check what our soup is looking like. Mmm. Oh, 
five minutes late. Oh, and look how the aroma is in the soup. It smells so good. So we're just gonna stir this. Look. Oh, this looks so good. Like imagine taking this and drinking and like, well, drinking this obviously, but you know, and eating the potatoes and everything. When it's cold, like you're not gonna get hungry. You will not, this is not one of those watery soups with like less nutrients and stuff inside. This is one of those soups that you can have it for dinner, lunchtime. Some people eat uh, dinner, food for dinner during breakfast. So this is one of those food like it fills you up really, really quickly. And now I'm just gonna add my shrimp and my um, my shrimp, my fish, and my chicken. And that's the last step. So easy. Now I'm gonna check on my shrimp, chicken, and fish um, that I put in in the oven. I know I said 30 minutes earlier, but actually put it for 35 minutes, so it's well done. So let's watch. Oh my God, this looks so good. What? I turned off the stove, by the way, guys. Look how it looks. Look how amazing it looks. And I'm just gonna add this um, to the soup because I want it to have that flavor and crunchiness, but not too like hard. So let's keep watching. I went ahead and added the shrimp, as you can see, chicken, fish, To my soup that's what they be charging at restaurants for like twenty dollars a plate it's that's just crazy like mm -mm. come on come let me make you your own plate though free of charge free of charge for a free plate of soup <laughs> yeah they be charging so much for stuff like this and it's like why you know anyway i know they're trying to make profit but my god like food these days is so expensive so this is just something that i highly recommend to make on your own or for friends family it's so delicious it smells so good hot you naked this food is sweet it's correct <laughs> All right, I'm gonna fix me a plate and do a taste test. This is what the soup is looking like with the shrimp, potatoes, fish, chicken corn celery carrots like this looks so amazing you get full just eating just one plate unless you like to eat a lot then okay <laughs> but this is so look how rich that is like It's so good, oh my God. All right, let me taste this goodness and mercy. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, <laughs> let me taste it. I already tasted it before. That's why I was telling you guys it's so good. But I'm going to taste it just for you guys. I'm not kidding. Like, oh my God. Mm. It tastes better every time I make it better and better all the time. Like, it's so easy. You guys can't even, like, imagine. I honestly recommend you guys trying this, making this for family, friends, or even just yourself. But it's just so good. Like, mm. oh my God. So... And if you guys have any other videos that you'd recommend, please let me know because I like to see um, your comments and suggestions so I could do um, more videos for you guys. But um, yes, so I love you guys. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, click on the description link for your journey to happiness. I love you all. Later. <laughs> I'm going to keep eating this. Like... Mm. Mm. I mean, I love you all later. <laughs> I'm so busy eating this one. <laughs> Bye, guys.